what is going on guys welcome back we are in the middle of a back battle factory run just like the last episode we are on battle number five to begin with hopefully this does not go the same as the last episode if you haven't watched it please go watch it right now currently our team is infernape salamence and scissor blastoise and the palm and lantern Ooh. blastoise and the palm and lantern this could be bad Blastoise and the Pommel Lantern. So we're going to take Wishcatch, I think. Um, yes. Sorry, guys. If you're just joining us now, thank you so much. My name is Wolf Click. I'm the 2016 Pokemon VGC, VGC 2016. I'm the world champion of Pokemon. I'm really bad at Battle Factory. I'm really trying hard, but it's really, really difficult. So, um, with all that in mind, uh, this is the Battle Factory. It's a randomized run and plat. It's a randomized in game fac facility in Pokemon Platinum, which is a Generation 4 game. Came out in, I think, 2009. Not totally sure. Dude, I know. He knows. He gets it. This is really scary. Um, I don't know who's faster between Ambipalmon and Infernape. I hope Infernape's faster, but I feel like every time I want Infernape to be faster, he's slower. So, um, going to lead off with Infernape and Salamence here. Ambipalmon is phenomenal. Great Pokemon. Um, I think what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and... His last Pokemon is Lantern. So, if I can just get rid of this Blastoise, I think I'll be okay because I have Wishcash in back. So, I'm going to go double into this Blastoise. So, in the worst case scenario, he might fake out my Ments. But even then, I feel pretty solid. Um, no damage there. Knock off. He knocks away my item, which is Cherry Berry. I'm so glad to have learned that. And overall, I would say this is a successful turn for me because I get um, two attacks off. I do a lot of damage to that Blastoise, a sizable chunk to that Blastoise, um, and I'm in an overall solid position. So what we hope right now is that this isn't Ice Punch Ambipom, but I'm pretty confident Ambipom doesn't even learn Ice Punch. So um, he is faster, so he goes for a Shadow Claw and. Uh, it's funny because Apom was so good in my single battle run, but Ambipom really is not convincing me at all. Of course, it is at minus one attack, but I don't know, Ambipom, like, I kind of expected more. Like, Fake Out Last Resort or something. And Close Combat is going to do a lot of damage to that Ambipom. We're going to find out if it's Focus Sash. It's not, unfortunately, for that Ambipom, very fortunately for us. So, we will be taking the KO here, and this is a matchup that I was, like, pretty worried about, but overall, it's gone pretty well. We, that Blastoise didn't get to attack. Um, that Ambipom was not, like, in two attacks, it did... 30 35 percent so yeah not not super worrying and we're gonna clean this one up in a relatively short amount of time too so wow wow lantern shout outs to massey who is a german player who really likes chin chow which is not lantern but it's kind of close close combat lantern okay look at its body okay i'm gonna draw its body it's like blue with the tail oh you're am out of the frame the tail um Anyway, long story short, Lantern looks kind of derpy. Look at its... That's not hydrodynamic, you know? Look at its body. Look at it. It's so, like... like It's, like, mostly fish, and then it just plops. The bottom just plops. Why? Why does it look like that? Oh, it's gone. I should have... I should have let it stick around longer. I wanted to look at it more. <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. Losing is not fun. Losing is not fun. Get out of my... Out of my... Out of my battle pack. Get out of my video. I don't want to... I don't want to talk to you, Maggie. Losing is not fun. Except when it's fun. But not right now. Right now we're serious. Battle number six. We're two guys. We're so close. I am so... I'm not actually that nervous yet, but I will be once I see the other team. So, okay, this is a, this is a phenomenal matchup. I am not worried anymore. Um, but it does mean that for the last opponent, we're going to get a crappy choice of Pokemon. So, Wishcash is out of here. He says, I've had enough. We're going to take Blastoise. Blastoise is super cool. We have two starters, so maybe we can use the Pledges. That's a joke. The Pledges don't exist yet. Um, yes. Yes. Where? Where? Where is it? Oh! Da, da, da. He's right. It is a legendary Pokemon. You know what? Reggie can stay. I don't want to hold him up. Sorry, Reggie Steel. Or Reggie, Reggie Steel. Sorry, Reggie. Get, 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 get. <laughs> Wow, that was, that was advanced tactics. I was not expecting that from a Battle Factory. Uh, this reminds me of somebody... Never mind, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Anyways, back to the battle. Blizzy is hot garbage. Mm, Blizzy is cold garbage. Blizzy is lukewarm garbage. And I don't even need to close combat it because it's going to die to anything. And that anything is going to be... Oh, wait a second. There's a better move here. So I'm going to fire punch the Vesper Queen. They're very out loud outside my room. <laughs> I'm going to fire burst the Vesper Queen. Going to do a sizable chunk because Vesper Queen, I believe, is high special defense, but not high physical defense. And unfortunately for Best Vesper Queen, eh, I'm so upset. Why did that not KO? Oh! 
So how about the weather? How about airplane food? Um, how are you guys doing actually? Right now, okay, I, I assume that you're gonna tell me how you're doing and then I'm gonna tell you you're, uh, how I'm doing, which is like, just cause that's like the play, flow of conversation. So I'm doing pretty well. Um, school is difficult at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, I don't think it's bad to be challenged, um, but my classes are a little hard and I'm not feeling incredibly motivated. So um, it's not a huge problem cause like I'm getting everything done, but um, but yeah, long story short, oh, it's gonna take so Sorry, this is the longest term in the world. Anyways, um, yes, uh, I'm an RA. I really like my floor. They're really nice. Uh, it's really rewarding at the moment. Air cutter always crits. Um, other things, mm, I'm excited about the new Pokemon season, uh, like the new tournament series thing. Um, I think that's gonna be really good this this year, and I'm really excited to see like how it goes. Um, I wasn't sure if Ms. Magius would outspeed Salamence, so I just went for the safe move. I know Fire Punch would have done more to Ms. Magius, but I wanted to make sure that I got the KO here. So, um, yeah, overall things are good. Thank you for asking. Um, but now it's time for serious business. Does that hit both? Okay, I was like, you know, if that hit both. <laughs> it's not stab, but it might still do a lot, because Mens is actually decently bulky. I, I think I should survive this. I think I should survive this. I think I should survive this. I think I should... Oh, well, you can't win them all, and we didn't win that one. And it's theoretically possible that I lose this one, I think, with Blastoise in back, if Blastoise is really garbage. This Magius is really low physical defense, so maybe I have Water Spout Blastoise, which would be really nice. It won't let you target the partner in this in this game. Yeah, we'll do that. Hydro Pump looks super cool. It's like... It's like a giant wave. If he has Destiny Bond, do I lose? That's kind of what I'm wondering right now. <laughs> like, wow, Miss Magius. A crit for a crit makes the whole world cry. That wasn't very clever, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. He's a ninja. Oh, that's why he was so clever. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, guys, we're on to battle seven, which I believe is the farthest we've come so far. And, and this is my third attempt, so I really hope we make it through. <laughs> Let's see what they have. Empoleon, Altaria, and Politoed. Hmm. But he doesn't have Drizzle. So actually, this is terrible for all of my Pokemon. Empoleon can die to close combat. Altaria, I can... I can Dragon Claw and Politoed. Honestly, maybe Vespa Queen or maybe Blissey. Those Pokemon sound specially based, except for Empoleon. I mean, except for except for Empoleon, except for Altaria. Do we believe? Do we want to be the problem? Do we want to be part of the problem or the solution? I kind of want to be part of the problem. Okay. So, if you're watching this episode, first of all, I can tell that the episode's really short at the moment. So, I wanted to one lengthen the length of the episode. Number two, tell you guys more about my day. Number three, use the, like, so, Blissey is not the eggy Pokemon, right? Blissey's not, Blissey's not this guy. Why have I not got an Executor? That's just BS. Um, but Blissey is, is, it has an egg, so it's like, maybe the egg is an Executor, Batty. Um, yes. So, overall, actually, I feel pretty solid about this lead matchup. I can close combat the Empoleon and Dragon Claw the Altaria, and with Intimidate coming off and a Koba Berry on Infernape, unless it's Chopal Empoleon... I say that as if it's unlikely. It might be Chopal and Polion, and that might change things because I don't think Dragon Claw actually KOs Altaria because Dragon Claw's super weak, and Salamence isn't even that. Okay, honestly, that's not too bad. Um, if it was like Ice Beam or Scald, like at least this way, like I'm not gonna lose both my Pokemon this turn unless. No, I don't think there's any way I lose both my Pokemon this turn. So close comps can come out into Empoleon, and it's not Chopal Berry, which is honestly a, an enormous surprise to me. Um, we do have reason to believe it's physical Empoleon, so. <laughs> We should make sure we get rid of this before we bring in Blissey. Uh, but we will we will get with the KO here, so um, overall feeling really, really good about that. Picking up the KO on Empoleon, and it's down and out for the count. Dragon Claw's gonna come out. Might KO, honestly. These Pokemon are EV to be bulky, and that could be this. I think we saw this Altaria earlier using Dragon Dance, so I'm inclined to believe this might do. This is gonna do a decent chunk at the very least. Is it enough? It is! Guys, we finally made it through the first seven. Oh my goodness, why is this so hard? This is so hard. And it doesn't have drizzle, I love Politoed. Look at it. Wait, hang on. How is this? That's Politoed. <laughs> it looks so happy. It looks also kind of like not super high resolution. But yeah, unfortunately, Politoed's a Pokemon I love, but somehow Infernape Salamence lead used throughout this entire run is the one that like gets us there which is not what i would expect because it's like infernape is good but salamence is frail and not that strong so um yeah maybe i don't really know i don't really have reason for you i guess like there's heart and fortunately we didn't have to send in blissey so um yeah you guys don't have to wait for 10 years 
So Dragon Claw will pick up the KO, and we win this game in, in two turns and three attacks. So four attacks if you count that Aqua Jet. <laughs> I always liked that one when I was a kid, that uh, the message. So, wow, we finally did it. We finally made it through the first seven. Maybe that's not a huge accomplishment. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I am going to be continuing this run in the next episode. Hopefully, excuse me, hopefully I don't get totally destroyed. Um, but at the current rate, it's probably likely that it's not going to go that well. But um, that's okay. You can't win them all, and you definitely cannot win any of them, and you can't win this one either. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I don't know if I already said that. If I did, I apologize. If I didn't, sorry again. Um, yes, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.